Hello, water signs. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your monthly forecast for January 2024. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure that you hit that bell twice. This way you get the notifications of when I go live, but also when I post, uh, which is quite frequently uh, moving on for the all sign reads. But for my regulars, just want to let you know that things have changed here for the monthly readings. My monthly readings, the full forecast is now only at Harmonia Friends, my membership area over on my website. This is where you gain access to all of my readings and all of my exclusive content where you will be able to use your own intuition as to where you feel guided to see if there are messages there for you. This doesn't mean that uh, you're not going to get any kind of reading today, but you are getting something here of a monthly forecast. Uh, so we're going to see what's going on here for our water signs before we break into each each individual signs uh, before we lead over to Harmonia Friends. Let's get started, shall we? If you guys are interested too in the cards that I use, just go in the description box below. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascended masters. Spirit, what is going on for our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? What is the challenge for this month? What is the challenge for this month? We're using the Enchanted Map Oracle cards by Colette Baron reed here. Here we go. Water signs. 37 may be significant number for you, but it says cleaning house. Well, this is perfect for January 2024. Clean slate purging. <clears throat> when you clean, you create space and room for something better to come in. That's the whole point of cleaning house. But this is your challenge card here. All right, let's see what the book has to say about the card cleaning house. It says, it's time to clear the clutter, water signs. When you see the cleaning house card in a reading, it's time to declutter, get rid of unwanted things in your physical home, and release what you no longer want or truly need. So your physical home could be your body as well, taking care of your, your temple, okay? <laughs> Is there any unfinished business you should address? Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well. Your conscience must be clear for you to move freely in this world. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way for much better things to look forward to. So like I said, this is you creating space. And the challenge here is not to get into that old baggage mode. I keep hearing old baggage. So there is something here that is still kind of in the drawers here. All right, for you, but let's see what the Rider Waite Smith deck has to say. Now we're using the Wiser Tarot, uh, which is a rendition of this deck. It's just a more vibrant deck, but it's a it's a beautiful deck. Let's see what the challenges of the past are for you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now we bring up the past. It doesn't necessarily mean last month. It could even be further down the uh, road, uh, even into your early days of childhood. But this comes up because. <clears throat> There's something that's going to be coming up ahead this month that it's asking you to clear. So it is giving you guidance. And this is usually how you can tell if this reading is going to resonate for you. Here we go. Well, we have Libra energy here with justice. The law of consequences. Balance. Get your contracts in order. Finish up your paperwork here. I feel like in the past, and this is about your past now, okay? Now we have the Four of Swords. There's something here where it was not a decision was made here that you had to rest upon or it was final decision. All right, I see. <clears throat> I feel like, look, first of all, look at all of these swords. <laughs> look at all these. It's a lot of swords energy, okay? So this is dense, definitely a mental, a mental blockage. I feel there's a lot of past fears, water signs coming up with consequences of holding on to things too much or too long, or things not going in your favor. There's a particular decision that was out of your hands 
Okay. Um, now this could be many different things. Okay. This could have been marriage contracts. This could have been work contracts, but it could just be universal contracts as well. But I feel like whatever was laid upon arrest, you're still holding right above here, those three swords and the three of swords energy up here is always heartbreak. All right. There were some heartbreaking decisions in the past that were made based upon consequences of your actions. I feel there's a lot of fear moving forward for you as to, <clears throat> well, is this as good as good as it get? Or is this just going to be the same reaction? When is it going to be fair for me? When is it going to be in my favor? Okay. I feel a lot of restlessness of waiting for consequences of things to move on in your favor. But as time goes on, it's kind of like, is that going to even happen? Okay. Um, I almost feel this energy of already clearing house, but there's something here. There's something here about a decision, a specific decision that was out of your hands that you thought, and I feel this level of, I thought I made peace with this. I thought I was okay by leaving this. I thought I was okay about this decision that was made. But now I have either regrets, some of you, it's past regrets about decisions, contracts you took. <clears throat> but it's time to clear this. It is. It's time to clear this. Interesting. Let's break down into each individual sign now. For the individual signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm going to be pulling one card. <clears throat> That's what's ahead for you to help clear this, but it's also going to let you know if the story is for you. And if you want to continue the story, just go over to Harmonia, friends. Here we go. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. And we have Scorpio. Pisces. Two of swords, more swords. <clears throat> more swords. Okay. Um, Pisces, you are definitely, uh, for this month, I feel a lot of things are being put on hold for you right now. Okay. Um, I feel a lot of resistance here of making any moves or changes because it's kind of like, well, where is it? I've already cleaned the house. I've already cleared the space. But I feel like the more time moves forward for you, there is this level here of not sure which direction to go or feeling a little unclear of why things aren't moving in the direction that you that you would thought that you wanted it to go or maybe this level here that there's a decision here that you haven't made final yet uh, maybe you're waiting for a specific outcome uh, so that you really get the nudge to push forward but i also feel a resistance here to make any move until you hear some kind of news coming in so i got a pisces here who's waiting on some kind of news this month um, and as, as the time, and I feel like you're keeping busy, I feel like you're doing stuff, but as time keeps going, I also feel the energy here of anxiety of things not going in your favor because of past things that have happened to you, um, that feel very familiar to this. Okay. And your familiarity for this, and this is probably more than I should be giving at this point, but I, this is channeled, um, is, is the fact here that you really need to to allow this to come up so that you can take actions to not have this worry, not have this time frame of waiting 24 seven. It's like, I feel like you need to be focusing on some other things here, but it's hard to do because you've cleared the house on this. So that's what we have for Pisces uh, waiting for a decision here. Let's move on to cancer. Uh, I'm time stamping these. So this is why there's a little bit of a delay. Let's see what's going on for cancer here uh, for the month of January. Ace of wands here is reversed. Okay. There's a particular opportunity, and this is always what I call the baton card here. The one here that's <clears throat> is an awesome start is something here. I'm feeling for you, there is a particular opportunity that uh, you are hoping to be handed to, and it's not necessarily being handed to you this month. Um, now, does that mean you can't go get it? Does that mean um, 
it's an, a defined or definitive no. We'll have to see how that plays out for your reading. But there's also, I really want to point out here with all this artwork here on the Lotus, is that there are spe specific changes within these layers that are not ready for you to tackle at this moment. And there's a particular offer that you really, really want and you're waiting for it to be handed to you, but it's not ready. Um, and there's something here about how you're utilizing your time and space here of worry or regret or consequences. I don't know. I almost feel guilty for taking a rest. Um, I'm feeling less of a spark. I'm feeling uh, more closed off. And what's coming ahead is because this offer isn't being handed to you, uh, it's almost feeling like I'm feeling shut down a little bit. So we're going to dive into this to see if it's a continuation of shutting down or if this is just a kind of funk energy of the month. Um, but I feel like, <clears throat> and they want me to go back, and I don't typically do this, but I am going to do it here, and this is the new style here. They want me to go back to the Baron Reed here for cleaning house here. It says, why do you hold on to things that remind you of your past is your home cluttered with objects that bring you unhappy? Do you have a tendency to attract broken people who need to be fixed? If you're involved in this type of emotional project or person, you need to stop right now. Clean house. Being needed isn't going to get you what you really need. There it is. Being needed isn't what you're <laughs> what you're going to get to be needed. All right. Um that's the message here that's really strongly. So that's what's going to we're going to be focusing on um, over on the other side. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. Scorpio is up next. Scorpio. <clears throat> well, what is going on with my water signs here? Okay. <laughs> the higher font, Taurus energy here. Now, this is a card here of high commitment of having um, a balance here in formalities. It's usually uh, a card here of teaching, mentorship, guidance, um, following things by the book. Traditions are very big with this. It's a very spiritual card as well. But I feel like there is a break here in the traditional way of doing things, or there is a relationship that is not traditionally going in the way it used to. Okay. This could be a marriage. Uh, it could be a job. It could be a family member. Um, it could be even, you know, you, if you are an entrepreneur, a relationship with a client as well. There's something here where the traditional way of doing things is not working anymore. And you are being addressed with it this month. And it is something where I feel there has to be a purge and a new way. Now, does it mean that it's the end of the relationship or the end of the friendship or the end of the work thing? Some of you, it may be, but we're not, we're going to wait on that because we have a five here. So regardless, it is a massive change that's happening this month. But I feel like the change for you, Scorpio, that is happening this month has a lot to do of things that are not going to be traditionally the way you're used to doing things. Okay. This is the time here to allow room and space for something new. Is that a new way of evolving? Relationships evolve. Maybe it's a new way of communicating with this person, or maybe it's just a new way of, of taking on a new belief system where other people may not follow in those footsteps or in the direction that you're going in here. So a couple different areas that this could apply to for you, Scorpio. So we're going to take a look at that on the other side. And that's it for the reading over here on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I will see you guys next time. Take care.